you're going to deal with it. And stop fast forwarding. You know who you are. Stop. Yes, please stay tuned for the special pie that I'm going to be making later, okay? Um, I was on my way back from Milwaukee. I had to rent this little bitty blue car here. The magnets look pretty nice on it, if you ask me. Uh, but who asked? Uh, I found myself at Bullpen. It's a luxury bar and grill uh, where they have a burger challenge with some fries. Uh, it's in Sherville, Indiana. I might be saying that wrong. Please forgive me. People say my town wrong anyway. Cahokia. So... Uh, please deal with it. I do. Um, I'm going to be eating this sandwich, and what this sandwich entails is uh, six half pound patties. Uh, you get cheese, tomatoes, and lettuce on each patty. Uh, it's about three and a half pounds plus fries, so that's four pounds. Um, um, I'm sorry, I've already got done. I'm already started eating this, and I'm trying to even talk about it. Uh, but if you can't eat this, it's uh, twenty dollars. But you get. 45 minutes. I probably said that already. Uh, three and a half pounds. This is very unprofessional. Cut! 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 Mm, okay. These are six half pound patties. Uh, you get a slice of cheese, lettuce, and tomato in each patty. Uh, you get 45 minutes to eat this. It's three and a half pounds with the patties and the bun and the, and the cheese, lettuce, tomato, whatever I just said, uh, and the fries. So it's possibly about four and a half pounds in total. Uh, it's $20 if you can't eat it. Still a good deal. Um, and if you beat it, you get a free shirt and a free meal. I'm going to tell you now, I'm eating this, and yes, I taste it, folks. But this is a delicious burger, and I'm already going to put it up number one burger of the year. I know it's February, but this still has a good taste in my mouth. That's what I said. Guys, if you are in the area, I know I told you uh, I really like this burger. It had really good quality meat, and it was seasoned good. They cooked it perfectly to uh, medium rare the way I wanted it. I've got that taken care of. I'm on my last couple fry balls here. About 41 minutes left to go on this challenge, so I think I'm going to take care of this. Uh, unless something really tragic happens. Hopefully I don't choke. That's what she said.
make something different, okay? Because that's what I do. I'm different. I'm special. I've been called worse. Uh, but um, I'm going to try to get much of the stuff I can on this little camera here, okay? So uh, I have a 9-inch pie pan. I have onions. Got to have an egg if you're going to bake because I'm baking a pie. And this is... What do you know? Hot dog pies. And um, as you, some of you know, follow my other channel, my ASMR channel, I'll put in descriptions. Uh, I also have fortune cookies. And if you wanna know why I have fortune cookies, check out my ASMR channel, people. Uh, I'll put it in descriptions, okay? If you wanna laugh, it's not for the kids, okay? I'm, I'm gonna say, please, if you have your kids watching my channel on this one, it's cool, but ASMR is kind of borderline, a little weird, er, er. Uh, I have good old Miracle Whip. You cannot have a good time without Miracle Whip, okay? Uh, I have some cha-cha or chow-cha, what do you want to call it? It's a cabbage-based relish with onions and green peppers and other spices I can't tell you about because I, I sold that. I have some other condiments. I have just some old cheap mustard and some ketchup I caught on sale. Other than that, um, I have some um, olive oil, EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. I don't know why it's extra virgin. Um, I've never heard of an extra virgin. Well, yes, they can be extra. But this is just to, to lubric lubricate the food, okay, to, to try to get this the consistency I want. Uh, garlic powder, just uh, pepper, and whatever else you want to do. You can put Italian seasoning in there. I wouldn't put seasoned salt. Seasoned salt, no. Uh, it's already salty. The hot dogs are already salty, people. Yes, these are expensive. Four dollar packs of Nathan's. I would never buy these on regular price. Got them for a dollar. A lot of them for a dollar. Okay, uh, it's going to get noisy a little bit. I might cut the, get the volume down on some of this stuff. Uh, but I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. Yes, that is professional talk for dry ingredients, the stuff that's dry. But I'm doing. I'm going to break these down to make the crust instead of doing the graham cracker and butter crust. Speaking of butter, we need butter. I almost forgot butter. And... Why I'm going to go ahead and get this in the consistency I want. I'm going to put it in the microwave. It's going to pop after about 30 seconds in my microwave. So you want to cover it up. And while that's going, I will I will plug this up here. I got extra bowls just to mix with. Um, I'm probably going to need some other spoons. So I'll got that ready to go. Uh, I need more space here. I need more space. I need my space. That's why I tell the ladies. I need my space. I'll give me a garbage bag here for all the, the trash. Okay. Uh, let's start with these. And plug the mixer up. This is not attractive, women, is it? Court's too short. Why am I going to be? I'm glad I carry. I'm glad I carry extension cord in my back pocket. And this, people, disclaimer: do not ever do this at home, because the heat of this can cause this to heat up. The uh, using all the volt, the amperage going into this. That's why it's so short. That's why I do it because it's a lot of power for this short cord. They should have made this cord thicker. Uh, but uh, if you do this, please do not do this, okay? I am stressing this enough. I did go to electronic school. I did. Believe me, I don't remember much of it. But I know you do not. You do not want to do this because this will get really hot, melt. It could burn your house up. So... The professionals only, professionals, do not try this anywhere. Not even at home, not at somebody else's home you don't even like. Not even my neighbor over there. I wouldn't even do that to my neighbor's house, okay? I wouldn't. All right. 
So what do you have to say today, ma'am? Repent of your sins. Repent of my sins. Of your sins. Of my sins. That's right. And be baptized in the name of Jesus. Ha la 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 la. All right. Dry ingredients. I got my butter. Melted. Going in the pool. That's what they call it. Going in the pool. You want to break these up and get a nice consistency. You know, we're playing on the sweet and savory side, okay, people? We're doing sweet and savory. It's the first time I've ever done this, so we're all going to be surprised. I got that going to fly, people. Think going to fly. I don't want to show you too much stuff not to do on this channel, okay? Because I don't want to... Uh, well, at least I got it on camera. If I die, you know what happened. There's where the extra virgin olive oil comes in that people. Up by hand. This is maybe, I don't want to add too much fluid to this. But... If I add anything else, I might add any more butter. It's gonna to be too too much. I'll add a little bit of water, okay? Because the water will evaporate. And I'm just saying that because it sounds good. Uh, but uh, try it one more time. If not, yes, I'm gonna add water. People dunk their bread anyway, right? Okay. You guys want to make this um, just like Miss Hobbs um, she's got a thousand subscribers and uh, she tells people if they make it to, to go ahead and uh, send her a picture and then she can post it so if you guys want to make a hot dog pie yeah I'm crazy enough to post that if you're crazy enough to make it oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah side of it people let's, let's, put, let's get it all in here let's stop playing okay get a close-up of this Ooh, and put the top back on whoa I made an I almost made an amateur mistake Looks like more water. I think it, I think that should be plenty of water. I'm not going to add any. I guess I'm going to be having some hot back hot dog pie with maybe maybe a chunk of uh, uh, wood in there maybe for a little protein. I'm stupid. I am stupid. I'm stupid enough to do it again. Okay. Sometimes when your tool is that big, you know, you get that deep in it. Never know what happens. Okay, let's get these out the way. And yeah, it's a it's a consistency that I want. That's exactly the consistency I was looking for. People say that on uh when they're on the on live or they're doing a video that's exactly the way they wanted it no I didn't even think really about that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys today is Monday when I'm making this video 
So I'm not, uh, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not even going to rinse this out. I'm saving my water, okay? Just pat this down, pat this down. Oh, this is very, this is better than I thought, thought. Make sure it gets around. Let me see if this works. Okay, make sure, mm. I always like to cook, I like to be the cook because they always say, oh, I've been cooking all day, I didn't get to eat. You're, you're lying, unless your food's nasty because you get to taste test the whole time you're in the kitchen, okay? I'm going to show this camera here, and then I'm going to show the cameras there, just to make sure I got all camera. Okay, look at that. Fortune cookie pie. Fortune cookie pie. Next. Hot dogs. Can't have hot dog pie without a hot dog, right? Can't have a good time without a hot dog, right? Ladies. Not the guys, guys. Whatever. If that's your thing, that's your thing. This, this is going to be different, okay? I am, I've never put hot dogs in a blender. If you have, something is really wrong with you, okay? It is. Let's just see how, what happens. I mean, I think we're going to have to add water to this too, you know? I mean, we need to get these hot dogs in a bath. No, nothing like a wet hot dog. Come on, guys. Oh, that's, that's enough. Let's not play. I'm not playing games here, people. Couldn't help myself. Check that cord out to make sure it wasn't getting hot because it was pulling some amperage there. All right, potted meat. I think I just, I just didn't, that's how somebody invented potted meat. They was making hot dog pie and they invented potted meat. That's how things are made, people. still two fresh dogs up top I'm going to have to get some of this out this looks exactly like potted meat that's how they that's how they did this oh nothing like hot dogs on your hands people I'm thinking I got enough already I think this might be plenty oh it is just the way I was expecting.
And I'll have those for a light snack while I wait. How about that? And you can garnish this. I should have put a little, I'm going to put a little bit of onions mashed up in here, okay? A little, just a little more. I like onions, okay? You never have enough onions or garlic. And I will just sprinkle the top with garlic uh, because honestly, Monday, I'm not going to lie, I forgot, okay, people. I'm, just, I'm not even going to do the black pepper because I'm in a, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm in a hungry mood. Oh, shoot. Too much. Nope. I almost said too much. You never have enough garlic. Let me, let me go ahead and mix that up too while I just accidentally on purpose did that. Okay. Oh, good chunk. Okay. Here we go. Hot dog pie. Hot dog pie. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and get crazy with more onions on top. Um, I should have preheated this, but I was so excited to do uh, to do this pie for you guys. I'm gonna set it for 400. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with 20 minutes and check it, okay? But mm. We'll be back in a little bit. Let me, uh, let me get this straight, this cleaned up a little bit. Okay, about, about 14 minutes in, I'm going to check on the pie. Like I said, it's the first time I've done this, so I just wanted to check. Oh, look at that. Like potted meat. I might need to, I think I might need to uh, get the top uh, with some paper towels or something, because it is looking a little greasy. So let me uh, let me do that and stick this back in there. Okay, people, I uh, tamped the top down because, like I said, it was a little greasy. So I'm gonna stick this back in there. Yeah, that's what she said. And probably put it on for another. I'm gonna say another 20 minutes. I'm just gonna go crazy with it. And up to time another 10 minutes so now it's at 15 so all together um, I would have put it on 30 minutes okay as I catch up on my comments here while that hot dog pie is getting ready <clears throat> oh yes let me check it so hungry so hungry oh look at that Look at that deliciousness, that crust, that, oh, let me shut this off so I can save electricity. I know you see this goodness. Uh, I'm going to let this delicious pie cool down for a little bit, and then I'm going to top it off with my icings. Okay, I had this cooling off long enough. Um, I have my good old America wood. You can't have a good icing uh, without that. I'm going to do this closer up so you can see it. I don't want you to miss all this goodness. Okay, got everything in the picture. And I have my cha 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 chow chow. It's a uh, just cabbage, onions, and bell peppers. There you go. You can see butter. Just a it's just a relish, people. You can just use that. That's good enough. Uh, but right here, I know you guys are gonna like this. Okay, look at this. Look at this. You cannot. Oh, look at that. Just smear it on there. I want to still taste the uh, hot dogs a little bit, but uh, you just keep doing that. And you don't want to double dip in your American Whip. You really don't. But uh, I'm the only one in this house that uses that. My daughter's a little crazy. I think she uses some kind of vegetarian mayo or something with turkey. I don't know. She's into that healthy stuff. But there you go. 
Okay. Smear that around a little bit. You can always put a little more on there. I would, but I'm on camera, so I'm not going to double dip on camera. I'm just going to pretend like I never double dip. Like none of y'all do it. Okay, there you go. Get me another uh, spoon here. Get a little bit of this relish. Oh yeah, more onions. Okay. There you go. And if you want to garnish it with a little, uh, ketchup you can just to make it look ni nice I know the first thing is going to square it out you got to shake it up good but you want to do a little well, let's do a little design here there we go you got the ketchup same thing with the mustard let's shake it up okay and we're going to go one, 180 with it oh it must have got a little messy but there you have it. I'm going to um, clean the outside the dish up. There you go. Hey guys, let's see what them fancy people on Food Network uh, and the Food Channel does, okay? Um, I'm not going to do a fancy cutting here. I'm just going to do a little chunk, a little piece of pie. She said, there you go, a little food porn, get the music going, hit it. Okay, now here's what they do on TV, and I'm just going to let you know, here's what they do on the Food Channel and wherever else, okay? This is the, um, the crust that I made with the fortune cookies from my ASMR channel, so if you haven't checked my ASMR channel, Look in descriptions below, okay? And we get a little piece of this hot dog. Here's what they do on TV. Mmm! That is outstanding! The best I've ever had! Well, it's the only, only one I've ever had, but here's... Supposed to at least taste it first, instead of just put it in your mouth or just before it gets your mouth. Oh! Oh, it's good. No. Actually, people, I just invented a new crust. Fortune cookie crust. It was actually pretty good. I cannot, I cannot get enough to eat this whole thing. Mmm, some crust. Hey, you make your own. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch it on Roku on your TV, please search the garbage disposal and lock that in. Um, I have shirts in. This is a unisex shirt. On those, I have a choice of have a great day unless you made other plans, or that's what she said. Have them all the way from small to 5X, excluding 4X. Um, also, I have brand new shirts in of the women's cuts. Uh, the women's cuts only come in have a great day unless you made other plans, but I have them all the way from small to extra large. I also have tank tops in women's already right now, and I have tanks in men's in probably the spring or the summertime. So uh, get with me on my social media, and it's right here on the home page, uh, right here in the top right corner. You can get with me. The best time, best uh, to get with me is my Gmail, and just put T-shirts as the subject title. But any of those, you can probably try to get get with me at. Uh, but subscribe to my page, hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming events, and live streams, and videos. Uh, please hit the like button for me and uh, if you could please share with your family friends and even your boss Have a great day unless you made other plans <laughs>